which is something you would only see in a Fistol or an Omega. Um, later on, you know, a little bit later on, you start to see Cosworth develop that type of design, mm. um, a bridge style, which with the and what you're really looking for, looking at are these two bridges that go front to back. I'm sorry, left to right. Yeah. Um, this front to back stuff that was always there, but they realized they realized that they started to lose, especially when we get to a bore that's this big. I mean, this is this is twenty eight thousandths bigger than a five hundred two big block. Mm -hmm. So. How, how high is a 502 spin? Well, it depends on what your balls are, I guess. I was going to say, like, maybe yeah, I was gonna say with good rods, probably like 5,800, mm -hmm. six grand. Yeah, with and good rods. And what? Well, it, you know. What's the point of failure they've run them to? Because you know they've done it. Uh, it's all the way up over 14, but but the point is, we you know, the, the, the stresses of the valve opening and closing is where that start, there's the whole halt there. The world superbike engines with the tie rods and stuff like them, I'm told um, I'll go just north of 13. But um, the Panigale R, the, what you guys can buy on the show and floor is 12, 12 and 12.2. 12 What's the piston one? speed at, at that RPM? Is it? Uh, I could figure it out. I don't know in my head. It's got to be ferocious. It's pretty strong, but you know what's interesting is you look, and again, back to di, uh, back to design criteria. Look how short the connecting rod is. Yeah, it's really short. Stroke is short. There, yeah, very strokes, very short. Um, 60 point, 62 point. No, sorry, that's roughly know, half. Yeah, or a little yeah one. exactly. But uh, the point is, is that um, in other motors, you need a very long connecting rod so that the piston dwells at top dead center, so that you get full cylinder filling. With our desmodromic system, the way we accelerate the valve in the opening, it opens very, very fast. If you look at some of the camshaft the profiles, the ramp yeah. speed is it's because we're hold, we don't have to deal with valve toss with right. a valve, like a valve spring motor does. So we snap it open, we hold it there, and then it starts to close, and then we gently drop it onto the seat. And that gives us the ability to really fill the cylinders without needing a very, very long connecting rod to allow the piston to dwell top dead center. Also, for this motor, it was packaging. We wanted to keep the motor nice and compact. And when you guys saw it together, it's a pretty tight, compact package. Yeah. Really. I mean, the cylinder's <clears throat> completely in the cases, and all you have is about this much more for the cylinder heads. So it's um, very, very, it's a, it's a revolutionary design uh, in the way we've approached the, the engineering problems. And uh, the proof's been in the pudding with the success of the engine, how what it produces. And, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, what we uh, what we anticipate is our future as well. How's the crank made? How do you mean? It's a forging. It's a forging that's in fi you know final finish and so forth and final balance. What you see right here is a balancing holes. And this, like I said, is much different. The Super Legera crank is much different. You really only get this one um, piston pin stop. I'm sorry, pit, uh, crankshaft stop pin because this one is lost once they. And they have those also spin up faster. Or? Yeah, lightens the crankshaft yeah. and the uh, you know, pistons are lighter in Super Legera. Um, they go faster. I don't. I, I can't. I can't say that I. I've only worked on one Super Legera so far, so I don't. Know. I get you. So how many miles have you seen on these motors? They, has anyone seen the first surface? I have. Oh yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. I, I actually have a customer in Michigan who's. He, he is a just a maniac rider. He rides it all the time, and uh, he's got just over sixty thousand. Sixty. Yeah, just over sixty thousand. He's the, that I'm aware of. He's the highest one that I, I, I I've had in my and it's area. Fairly, it's fairly it's original. Yeah, it's original. Motor. Yeah, he serviced it. Yeah. Crashed so it. in the Super Legera, where they're reducing this uh, <coughs> mass, yep. do they have to use uh, a, heavy metal yeah, to balance it. I, I don't know what it is. or something like that. Or something. Yeah, I don't really know what heavy metal it is to be honest mm. with you. But yeah, it's 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 balanced differently. Yeah. Uranium. <laughs> Unobtaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Are the rods cracked cap on these, or are they um, just machined? I believe it's a machine rod. It Doesn't looks like it. Hmm. What parts are different from this one compared to the R? Uh, well, the R has different I mean, connecting I mean, rods. Uh, pistons are a bit different. Yeah. The crankshaft balance. The crankshaft is different. So here's the Super Legera crank that Eric's talking about. Oh, there we go. Good one. Thank you. And uh, yeah. that is the that. addition of heavy metal, tungsten, mallory, whatever they chose to use, to make up for... So the overall crank weight is considerably less, but the weight is focused on where it needs to be to balance properly. Right. Mm -hmm. and the as soon as, smaller and... As soon as you start introducing heavy metals to a crankshaft, the, the price of manufacturing goes up exponentially. 
just the metal alone, I think, is over a hundred dollars to do a crank. You know what's really interesting is the uh, 2015-1199R price went up a little bit, but it's basically a super legier motor. If you look at the pieces, parts inside, the magnesium that they've added, you get just about the SL motor. You're getting the SL without the magnesium frame and the carbon body work and all the other yeah. stuff. So it's a very, very strong package, which no manufacturer that I'm aware of does anything at that level like that. You know, that you can buy almost yeah. a world sewer bike, or, sorry, world super sport engine to put on the street is just not. And they don't use that as like a test mule to trickle down over the years. So like the R will be, you know, the next for the Super Look Air and the Super Air will be the R and the R will be the S. And I don't really know. know. I mean, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're pretty tight-lipped tight -lipped at the factory about some stuff. I mean, I, I've, I've kind of seen some of the things that are coming down the next couple of years, but the the design philosophy is is to stay on top and build the best super bike we can and, and always provide our customers something that's not like what you're going to see at a bike meet, you know? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but why do guys with other bikes just lay ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 worth of wheels and accessories and forks and this and that? because their bike gets parked next to the other guys and they look just like the same. So we try to do something a little bit different, you know? Yeah. Ride something that's unique and... Uh, First production bike with a TTX shock. Right. Exactly right. MotoGP was using a shock and six years later, Ducati had it as a production piece. So, you know, we're really, ahead, we're, we're, ahead, we're ahead of a lot of games and, uh, and uh, we're moving forward with, with everything, trying to, you know, develop a product that you guys like that, I mean, <laughs> I should said my neighbor um, sells Harley. I had a Diablo that I that I bought as my personal bike, and he kept seeing it, and he just said to me, he goes, you know, Harley crowd's just not my crowd. I go, well, maybe, you know, I don't know. It's, he's a sales engineer for a metals company. He goes, it's not my crowd. He goes, well, come hang out, hang out with our guys. So I actually invited him to the um, show that they do here every year, which is the they do a fashion show. Does everybody come to the fashion yeah, show heard, and stuff? Heard about fashion it. show it's and the, you know, it's a whole gig and, and, and he goes, that was just definitely one of my crowd. Um, he sold it early and he bought a Diablo. Next right. to the shop. <laughs> so again, it's what's right for you, not necessarily what's right for the masses. And I think that's our, I think that speaks to our customers a lot. Our customers like the unique feel, like the unique presentation. Um, I very seriously doubt that my, any of our competitors are coming and bringing down the top Superbike or top, even top Harley engine, bringing customers in and, and showing every single piece that you can touch. And you let me pick up that side cover. Pass that magnesium side cover. I don't know the, this the one, one has the, t yeah. It's got all kinds of stuff. You can just, just, just dump it out. <laughs> <laughs> don't figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't even have it. The sensor feels like it, or the, yeah. that feels yeah. like it weighs more than the cover. Well, I want it, and I wanted to bring up this, bring this up too, is that, we are a company that we really do base our base our design and our and, and what we do on an honorable uh, an honorable method, which is where we try not to produce something that you know has a failure and then we just don't do anything about it. I work for other companies and they'll produce the same exact design year after year after year. Typically, our company comes up with a countermeasure when we see something that we don't like, but we don't see is giving you guys good service. We come up with a countermeasure right away. We're a small company, can't afford to have things that have issues over a long period of time. One of the things that, not only is this cover light, you know, I'm glad you got this, no? <laughs> is you notice that this is the old pressure sending unit. Why do you think that this flexible line is here? Vibration. Vibration. That's right. We, this is a very, very sensitive sensor, and they had a tendency over the past few years that these sensors would... Like 916. Up and, oil all over. and it, it well, it shouldn't have come out. It should have just just stopped working, and then it would turn the light on. You're like, oh! But the situation is that we did is we just isolated it. We put it on an isolation cable right here. Now the sensor's bulletproof, no issues. Continues to read, continues to do everything it's supposed to do. So again, we're a company that we need as we march forward with the direction of Claudio uh, Domenicali. We are able to uh, produce products that address lifestyle concerns, performance concerns. Anybody see where uh, Bayless qualified? I did. Yeah. Seven. Seven. Yeah. He's only yeah. showing sparks up his muffler when he's taking it off the track. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't see that part. Maybe, maybe you know, you know he has his. He's a Troy's one of my favorite riders. I <laughs> love watching that guy ride. Just rides the wheels off the thing. But to have a 42, 43 year old 
I don't know. I think 45. Be 45 now? Is that old? So 45-year-old guy that's six and a half tenths off the pole, and he's only been back two races. Where did Davies end up? Right, just Sixth. right in front of him. Just barely wow, right in front of him. That's impressive. He's crazy. You see Iannone and Davies also? Yeah, yeah. yeah. In the top on the sheets. Yeah. 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 Yep, we're getting there. Right, we're, we're, yeah, this, we're getting there. Is anyone going to Texas uh, next month for the, for the GP? Do you want to pull the uh, cylinder off and show the ride? Um, we're going to be able to load it without um, taking the piston. We can no. use the clip. Right? Yeah, we'll pull it so, off. So, yeah, we'll pull it off. Okay. Um, I'm going to get the transmission. Alignment thing set up if you want to start on that. Okay. Actually, pull the pin. Do you see the clip down the road with, with this engine pin so successful going to all chains yeah. instead of yeah. cam belts? I don't really know. Um, I, I'm talking about throughout the line. I don't know. I mean, you have to understand also that's. You know, talk about something that we didn't talk about at all. Well, we talked about a little bit for this section. But does anybody here know that every single Ducati. Except the new is scrambler is a fifteen thousand no, um, plus valve valve and B cases, A and B five year and uh, matrix. Well, that is four that is everybody said. So we do these so focus cool. groups every year, <clears> which <throat> are really interesting. That's that's and, pretty um, incredible. The whole, we, we say, well, what do you think about what, what is your opinion yep. of Ducati customers? And just some ask them. They can be from BMW, they can be from Harley, be from Car or whatever. And it's really interesting. And they say, well, what do you think about Ducati? Oh, I've heard they're really. You know, all the maintenance just kills you. You know, just well, right. that's not been the case. You not with our motorcycle, not for years. So the old day they couldn't pull it off. Right. They could not pull it off. The old day. There would be ring shims underneath the deck. That's yeah. not. Then you'd have to ring shim many years. Yeah, that's they, that's do. So they do. They do. And, and that's what we have to get the word out to say. There's a huge problem with this. Is the situation? Oh, take a look at this piston. This is a. That's what he's talking about. Talking about it being coated. He's bigger than most of the other ones. No, it's a problem. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, uh, a 1090R, or an 10, excuse me, a, a 999R, they have to go yeah, to a around. gas filled for a combustion chamber seal. Oh, it's as and then all rings around yeah. all the it's water tapered. jackets. Right. Because it could make a head gas station. Water out? Yeah. 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 A lot of stuff going to clean the Yep. Yeah. So because the water pump, you can see it in the other cover, because the water pump is in the case half, yeah. it's pumping the water right through you guys. Yeah. And then so there's where the water seal is. Let me hold it so you can pull it up. There's, um, I have to look at it. See, I don't think the water gets down here. Um, but I think there's an orange seal here. Okay. Wow. I don't know so what, one here. I have what, what I really want to, yeah. what I really want to draw your attention to is, look how small the ring pack is. You can see the stain. This is a very, very small ring package. Um, by the way, they don't come out like this in the factory with yeah. them all lined up. <laughs> we'll uh, just kind of put them back where they're supposed to be. But um, very small ring package, just an absolutely gorgeous piston. Um, you guys are all taking photos, so yeah. I'll put it. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Seven millimeter control or low control ring with a yeah. seven millimeter nyrosis for control no, ring on the bottom. Made out of? Yeah. <laughs> but um, I don't know. You know what's what's that? What's this made out of? It's a, it's it's aluminum. It's coated with nicosil. Right. I don't know the exact yeah. alloy or, or the heat yeah. treatment. What, what's really interesting is the super leger piston. No, right. The super leger piston actually has a different style dome style, but all of these pockets are hand blended. And when you look at it, it is very, very smooth, very, very nice. And I, I think I, I think I read it's forty something grams, fifty grams lighter. That's a titanium piston, right? The piston's not. No, no, no. It's it's still aluminum. Yeah, it's not a titanium piston. But the rod is a titanium rod. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, yeah, that would make it like 50% heavier. Yeah, that's awesome. You're passing that around too, guys. Yeah, that'll look, yeah, that'll look, yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's no Did you pull the pins with that? I did. I'll take right. that from there. Yeah. I need to see I'll get this thing set up. I don't want to freeze all on. Somebody's left over. Show how the passages in this rod from the big end to lubricate the small.